Do you ever get frustrated by your pulley system and not being able to adjust it? Well, stick around and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to fix that. Hi, I'm Steph from Barbell Sanctuary and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your static cable system into an adjustable one. Let's get into it. I highly recommend if you don't have one, you try to either make one or you buy one that can fit on your rack or a self-standing unit. Now, the adjustable ones are very expensive, but you can get systems that attach directly to your rack for not very much money. I think uh, mine was under $200. Of course, this was pre-COVID. If you do have one, I'm gonna show you how to make it adjustable. Some of the extra exercises that I like doing with them are things such as tricep pushdowns, face pulls, cable crunch is one of my favorites, uh, lat pull down, of course, everybody loves those, cable curls, and then you have certain exercises such as seated rows and rotator cuff extensions. So there's a lot more exercises you can do. Those are just the ones that I enjoy doing. I really love doing seated rows and rotator cuff extensions, but they're very hard to do when your system is static, either with the high pulley or the low pulley. The angle is just not right. Rotator cuff, you're way too big of an angle. And seated rows, you're kind of pulling upwards instead of just straight front and back to really work your back. Um, it's just not ideal. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that with three easy steps. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself a piece of chain and you're gonna tie it from the top to the bottom. It doesn't need to be fancy, just a big enough chain. You can pick it up at a hardware store. I just looped it up up top and then I connected it to the bottom pulley and that's it. That way it gives you all these chain links will be your adjustments up and down. The second thing you need to do, pick up some uh, inch and a half carabiner clips. They can be bigger, but I just like the small ones. It just makes it easier to be more precise in your adjustments. And then all you do is you kind of spread, put them out on the chain where you think you're gonna use them for the exercises you wanna do. And you can change the height of them afterwards when you're doing your exercises and you figure out where you like them. Once they're set, you pretty much leave them where they are. And the last thing that you're gonna want is a snatch block. You could buy a pulley and attach it to it, but I'll tell you the reason that I use the snatch block is that you don't have to install it permanently. You can take it off if you want. You just put your cable in there and you close it like this. And then I just use one of my regular three inch carabiners and I put it on and then you can hook this to the small one with your cable running up and through and I'll demonstrate how to do that. And then you just move this up and down where you want it on your chain and that gives you your extra adjustment. The other reason I like a snatch block, they're made for winches. They're made for like 10,000 pounds. So you don't have to worry about this breaking. And if you're using, you know, 5 16 chain or 3 8 chain, you're not gonna break that either. If you're wondering where to get these, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for where I got my snatch block extra carabiners for the three inch, the one and a half. So I'll leave that in the description. Uh, make sure to check that out if you want to support the channel. So now I can roll from my bench and I can do my rotator cuff exercises from the correct angle. Those are the main exercises that I use this modification for. Let me know in the comments if you can think of other exercises that would benefit from making your uh, static cable system into a adjustable system. Also, if you have any questions on how to do a DIY adjustable pulley system, leave your question down below and I'll help you if I can. If you're seriously interested in home gyms, garage gyms, make sure you watch the rest of the videos in the series. Links will be in the description. Make sure you click on the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.